Hello there, my beautiful collective. How are you today? I hope you're doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. This is Empathic Moon 777 and I am Durga Diana. I am your tarot card reader and um, welcome if you are new or if you're stumbling across this video. I want to welcome you to this collective love reading that is coming through for our Empathic Moon 777 collective. So um, this is a general love reading. The energies are here before you. I'm going to talk about the situations of your person. So I also wanted to mention, uh, you're going to know who it, it, if it's you or if it's your person. So I might say uh, your person, but it could be you. Or I could be saying the viewer and that could be your person. So I just wanted to make uh, make a clarifier there and uh, you're going to know uh, whose energy this is. All right. So you're going to have to use your discernment and um, take the reading how it applies to your situation. If it doesn't resonate, just leave it. And if it does, uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't and follow your intuition and how the energies come out. This is about the energies. You can take the energies, how they apply to your situation. And also too, like the, there's masculine and feminine, right? But um, it, it could be, it's, let's just take it as the energy. They could be uh, the energies and it doesn't have to be about gender. All right. So I want to, I want to make that clear there uh, just in case, you know, if it gets a little bit confusing. So hopefully that helps. Um so this is the uh your person, all right? So whoever your person is coming through, this could be you or this could be your person, all right? So um I'm going to talk about what your person's energy is towards you. And uh I'm using the uh shadows and light oracle, all right? So we have here um Aloha healing, Amara the Menahun. 19 equals the number 10, endings and new beginnings. Um, there is some kind of energy here about um, saying hello to healing. This could be about a starting of healing. Uh, your person is uh, maybe looking towards starting to heal. I feel uh, like this is what it's about. Um, there is a message here about um, something about warmness, something about gifts something about fruits dances songs this is related to ancestors all right so there's something here that has to do with warmness there has to do with um something to do with the environment something to do with maybe dancing something to do with ancestors um the message here or the energy here is it's a it's a time to Begin to eat more fresh uh, fruits, drink healthy juices, smoothies, take dance lessons, have a tropical bath, uh, and bring energy of a waterfall into your life. Kahuna massage and body work is wonderful for when Amara makes her gentle, powerful presence felt. Um, dancing, joyful exercise, singing, music, fresh foods, so um, there is an energy here about health and wellness and um, like enjoying the environment, enjoying the, the nature, uh, dancing, singing. Um, that's the energy uh, of their person, of your person at this time. Um, there is some kind of holistic healing, holistic treatments, some kind of natural or alternative, soulful um soulful environments, uh, positive attitudes, and sunshine. So there's a lot of soul here. There's a lot of, um, it's like a retreat energy, like a spa energy, going to the spa, self-care. Um, so that's the person, the energy of your person, and then um, towards you. And then the other energy is Po, time for change, to learn something new to use technology and gas gadgets with wisdom. So your person here is also in this energy of perhaps maybe working online, 
uh, maybe doing some kind of transformational work online, maybe they're doing some type of studying, uh, maybe they're learning um, or taking a course or maybe they're in school, um, they're using technology and they're using technology to gain some type of wisdom. There could also be an energy here where they're in this energy of maybe perhaps um, starting a business, all right, or maybe you know, they, they're they creating something online, all right? Um, maybe um, they have some kind of, um, it says here, learning uh, something new and a time for change. So maybe they're starting their passions as well. And uh, they are, um, it says here, um, yeah, it says here, um, Some kind of communication tool, all right? Uh, maybe websites, web design, software, digital art, something like that. Performances, okay? So um, it's, it's something, some kind of development to offer. Uh, it has to do with new ideas, technology, all right? And um, this is uh, to help to either learn or help to provide some type of change. So that's what the energy of your person is towards you. And then um, the energy of the viewer or um, the energy of the viewer is lady with the Bosch egg, ancient wisdom. So there's this energy here of ancient wisdom. I feel like this person here is wanting to obtain some type of knowledge. Maybe they are connected to uh, something to do with um, uh, their family lineage, their ancestral um, uh, lineage. Uh, this could be about um, something to do maybe even with um, some kind of um, some kind of wisdom from the ancient past. Um, this could be something that you're learning about, something that you're into. Or this is something where this person is receiving messages from the ancients, from the ancestors, um, something like that. It's helping them to gain some type of wisdom. They're becoming more spiritually inept. Perhaps they're understanding some type of knowledge. They're getting some type of um, understanding about magic or spirituality, something like that, okay? And then uh, cleanup time. Your person... Or you, the viewer, is in this energy of cleanup time. Something to do with um, maybe cleaning up um, old behaviors, thought patterns, um, maybe feelings, like maybe you're doing some type of decluttering, um, maybe clearing some type of space in your home, in your life. Um, there is some type of cleaning there taking place and it's all to remove like um it says mildew fairy so there's something here about cleaning up maybe stagnant energy um maybe cleaning uh, maybe the emotions all right um and and so this is um what the energy of the person is whoever this is for towards their person all right so now we're going to get into your person's uh reading now and um, we have here what the reading is about. So um, we'll get started on that. So your person here, their reading is about stabbed in the back. So the, the reading here about what they're going through in this now, what this is here, this is what the reading is about. So the reading is about um, the stabbed in the back and uh, the six of swords in reverse. So somebody was stabbed in the back, okay? There was a heartbreak that came through in this uh, reading here. And there's an energy of the Six of Swords in reverse here. Um, transition is the Six of Swords here, um, but it could also mean in the reverse a delay in a trip. So some kind of delay of a trip, or it could be a return of a trip, or it could be some type of delay in action, all right? Um, it could be a refusal to accept um, help from a tough situation. It could be a resistance to moving forward or and making a decision. So there's some kind of delay or there's some kind of resistance to move, all right? 
Um, this is what the situation is with this heartbreak. Um, it has to do with either refusing to move or there is some kind of delay with moving. And it's connected to a heartbreak energy. Uh, this heartbreak hotel could be about meeting up or this could be about some kind of secrets, all right? And what is happening with this heartbreak hotel, with this meetup in secrets, it's having to do with um, moving forward um, in stability and um, moving forward in balance, charging forward. So um, this is what the reading is about. So your person's energy today is in this energy of ascending. So there is this ascending energy here coming through. But what is happening with this ascending is that there's this devil's energy. So this is not good energy. This is toxic energy, restrictive energy, addictions energy, uh, restrictions energy, um, obsessions energy. Um, there's something toxic. This could be a person even, um, or there could be in that energy. So there's something here very toxic and restrictive in connect in connection to their ascending, in connection to their spiritual evolution, um, expanding into the new phase of their uh, spiritual journey, um, transcending obstacles. There is this devil's energy with your person at this time. This ascending has to do with mile high. All right, so it's ascending miles high. So this is ascending, all right? Um, and it's having to do with traveling, all right? Having to do with adventurous, all right? So this has to do with traveling. This ascending could be like traveling, like ascending, ascending, like mile high ascending. Um, that could be that. Or this could be about actual travel or ascending to like expand and take, you know, go um, on an adventure to continue to move forward in their journey. Um, so what's happening with this um, mile high is this uh, hanged man energy having a new perspective. So basically, your person here is stuck and they are, it's, there's something negative devil's energy there that is obstructing their extension and it's, obst it's obstructing their, um, their ascension, um, to move in to higher states um, because there is um, uh, there is some kind of obstruction to having a new perspective all right that's taking place all right uh, when it comes to this uh, heartbreak and it comes to this um, refusing energy and uh, this heartbreak and moving forward I hope I'm making sense here. So um, what's the potential uh, energy that's going to take place with this here is, um, and this part of the reading has to do with fantasizing. So fantasizing, uh, thinking of you, sexual thoughts. All right. And uh, it has to do with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So Knight of Cups in reverse is like emotional. Uh, it could be uh, overly emotional or unbalanced emotions. Um, it could do with something that um, maybe something about being down. Um, maybe something to do with being down or like maybe refusing something in some way. Uh, I'm just going to actually look Knight of Cups really quickly in the reverse here. It's Knight of, Knight, of, uh, Knight of Cups. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're going to get this here. Knight of Cups. Okay, it says uh, Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah. Um, manipulative or insincere says here so this has to do with something insincere some kind of manipulation and some kind of unfaithful energy here um, maybe perhaps womanizing it says uh, who fears true intimacy and commitment 
All right, so um, this fantasizing and this thinking of you, it has to do with um, uh, some kind of uh, unfaithfulness. It could be about manipulation or it could be about being insincere. And uh, it has to do with um, communication or moving quickly. Wow. Okay, so... Um, so what's going to happen is that there is this give in to me energy, quench my hun hunger. All right. And uh, with this given to me, because we have here the sexual thoughts, thinking of you fantasizing. So, uh, but there is this insincerity with some type of communication or however way it re resonates, manipulation, unfaithfulness with some type of communication. Okay. Um with that, there's given to me and quench my hunger. So that given to me is like having somebody to like go towards you. And like, it seems like a very kind of passionate energy here. Like it's, um, it's almost seems like, um, like, uh, I don't know. It's like a control kind of energy. It seems like uh, it seems like it's almost like um, almost too like a very passionate energy and also in some ways like um, like some kind of tactic or something, something like that. Um, like it's almost like a game perhaps. But with this here, um, there is going to be some kind of in and out energy. All right. Um, this Knight of Wands is very passionate and fiery. And sometimes when they're very passionate and fiery, they might retreat and they could go back and forth with this energy here. Um, so they could be going back and forth with this uh, four of swords energy, which is an energy of needing to heal from heartbreak, take a pause and take a break. OK, um, or this could be them, you know, with this given to me energy, they're going to be moving passionately towards this uh four of swords which is this healing energy all right so let's get into the second part here um what's happening with your person is that there is this energy of girl with a snake empath and narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries so what is happening with this is that there is this king of wands energy so this could be a masculine, doesn't necessarily have to be. This could represent a person in this energy of the King of Wands. Um, this is an uh, energy to take action and leadership, a fiery energy. They follow passions from start until ending. They don't give up. They're confident. They're very magnetic. They're an, a, a, like a leader, a natural born leader. And they take action and they can do the delegation and they do so with a with a passion and fire energy so uh, this girl with the snake here there is somebody either an empath okay there's somebody that's an empath um that can easily be charmed by and they attract like really toxic people so they could be attracting like narcissists um towards them because they're an empath and they want to they want to um they want to have good connections they want to they're healers right but you can't heal narcissists and then they start to get sick the empaths and there's a very toxic um relationship between the empath and the narcissist so that is something that's common with this empath and um this girl with the snake energy um, she could be being used or, you know, it, there's an energy for this person to take boundaries, right? Because of that. Um, and so it has to do with, uh, a King of Wands energy. All right. So this could be a person here. There is a cocktails energy. This is your person. And, um, your person is, um, in this energy, of having some type of cocktails or some kind of drinks, all right? So your person um, may be um, going through this energy uh, and it's connected to um, drinks and conversations. What's happening with this drinks and conversations here 
is that there is some kind of brutal ending, something brutally ended, something very painful, um, something maybe it could have happened very suddenly, or it was maybe something that happened gradually. Um, but there is a Ten of Swords here, something ended very, very, very brutally. And um, it's having to do with some kind of getting together, maybe talking over drinks or having some kind of of conversation. All right, so what's going to happen uh, with this energy here is um, the future potential energy. All righty, the future potential energy is that there is going to be this uh, role play happening. All right, with your person. I forgot to talk about what the reading is about. Sorry. Um, so there's this headache, okay? Uh, not feeling it, running and avoiding. All right, this is what the reading is about regarding what will happen. So it's regarding somebody running and avoiding, perhaps having a headache, um, not feeling it. And it has to do with uh, being left out in the cold. And it has to do with the delay with making some type of offer, okay? So with this, your person here is, and in connection to this energy here, is there is going to be some type of role play. There is going to be some type of dress up. Maybe they're going to play some kind of role, all right? I, um, I'm not too sure what kind of role. Um, there's different type of roles that you can play. It could be with their job. It could be with their, uh, family. It could be, um, maybe they have a certain persona or maybe, you know, everybody has their own type of, um, roles that they play in, in the earth realm. And so these, um, roles, all right, this person, it has to do with them playing some type of role in their life. And uh, they're going to be dressing up in this. Um, and this role is going to be uh, connected to a wish fulfillment. So they're going to be taking on some type of wishes that they have. Um, and it's connected to the Page of Cups here. So um, the Page of Cups has to do with emotions. There's a lot of cups here. This is all about emotional uh, energies, intuitive energies, creative energies. And the page of cups here is, um, we have here a, a feminine there. She's in the water. All right. She's beginning. Um, she's, this is like, um, the starting of a relationship. It could be a spiritual relationship. It could be a romantic relationship. Um, this is also maybe a birth of something. Uh, this could also be a message or this could be something of a being a sensitive soul. This could be about open to honest and heartfelt commu communication. It's important, uh, like in this energy, to be open-minded and receptive to new opportunities. And she's in a pool of water. There's a cup glowing and she receives that she needs to receive or convey all right, so there may be some kind of message she's going to receive or she needs to convey. Um, and there is a lot of emotions connected with that. And she reminds us to be loving, intimate, gentle, and emotion, uh, emotional. So there is an energy here like your person is, um, is going to play a role here. They're going to dress up and it's involving them something to do with their sensitivity it could be about their wish fulfillment it could be about maybe they have something that they can offer that is loving or this could be about waiting for something to come to them that is loving this could be something new that has to do with love or it can do with spirituality all right so hopefully um this reading made sense to you guys and if it resonated don't forget to like um comment subscribe to the channel i want to thank you guys i love you guys i wish you guys all the best and if you want a personal reading i do offer that if you want to follow me on instagram 
Um, I'm there at Empathic Moon 777. If you're in the Winnipeg, Kenora, Lake of the Woods area, be sure to tell a friend about Empathic Moon 777. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Until next time, take care and I love you all and all the best.